Okay, guys, today we're going to uh, look at putting these moldars together. But first, I have to trim this one down. Uh, I, I had a, a breakdown with my car, so uh, I had to fix it. And I didn't have time to trim this up while it was green, so it's going to be real tough to do right now. So I'm going to trim it while it's cured. And that's going to be a real pain in the ass. So this is not what you want to do. You want to trim these while they're green. And I'm using gloves because they're uh, being pretty much, well, they're fully cured. Uh, if I don't use uh, gloves, I'm going to get more slivers than I care to imagine. And we don't want that. And this is like six ounce cloth with some two ounce, so it's uh, pretty thick. All right, so when you're trimming, whether it's green or whether it's cured like this, the biggest thing you want to do is you want to use your knife, not that way, because you're going in towards the fuselage or the part. You want to sort of angle it towards the uh, parting plane, which is this, so that you don't risk pulling the uh, the laid up part away from the mold, because that will then create a pocket where resin can get in, which means you're going to have to sand it off uh, afterwards. And uh, having the other one, which I just finished the one with which was cured uh, what that causes is it's very difficult to uh, cut the stuff so you do uh, in some cases pull it away not that it's a super big deal but uh, you obviously don't want to do that because the resin like I say will get underneath okay guys I'm gonna uh, show you a trick here so I want to make sure that my seams are nice and close. So let's have a tip. Oh, you can see that little uh, 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 gap down there. Then there's one up the side here a little bit. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure everything is rosy, I'm going to just put a couple of clamps on to simulate my screws. And... Uh, See what happens now. Ah, uh, yeah, she's all closed up, so you can see no light coming through the seams. So that means it's good. So now I can screw this together. So I've trimmed it well. All right, but before I uh, screw the mold halves together, I have to uh, uh, prep them. So I'm just blowing any uh, surface dust off and now I've got this uh, flat brush I like to use, very soft yet semi-stiff uh, bristle and what I need to do is go around the edges, come in real close but not onto the uh, whether epoxy is going to be able to run out and glue everything together. So I'm just going to come down here, and the reason I'm doing that is because after putting the tape on, trim, trimming the mold, etc., I've no doubt scraped some of the uh, wax off. So I need to uh, do this so that I don't get the two halves gluing together, which were a pain in the ass. If that happens, when I try separating the, uh, the molds away. So I'm just coming down. If you get a little bit on, it's no big deal, because the uh, epoxy will run down the edge and seal it anyhow. And then what we're going to do, once we've got it all clamped, glued, then clamped together, Forgot what the hell I was gonna say. 
Oh, once we got it all glued and clamped together, then we're going to run some seam tape down the insides. Now, one thing I do, I just don't do, go down the edge. I also come back about an inch, inch and a half or thereabouts. So that when the glue runs, which it will inevitably do, that hopefully we capture most of it between the PVA, i.e. the mold release agent, which I'm putting on now, and uh, stops the parting planes gluing together. It's not perfect, but it will do the job. So just spread it back out. Okay, that's one side done. Okay, so now it's time to put it together. So I've mixed uh, about 30 milliliters of resin here. I'm going to uh, put some clear into this little cup here. That's for post brushing if I need to. If I don't do it, I'll forget, then I'll have to mix more resin up, which will waste it all. Now, what I've done so far, got my shrinks, that's where I'm going to put my goop on. I've uh, got basically, I think it's a 3 8 dowel. It doesn't matter what it is for as long as it's not flexing away. I've cut a, I've drilled an angle into the brush, the stem of the brush, as far as I can go to the metal, glued it, and uh, I've tested it, and I can get pretty much uh, four-fifths of the way in. So this is so I can lay the tape. This is a very narrow fuselage as far as width, so it's not as easy to do as my big scale planes. So I'm not going to be able to get any tape in here. Now, I've seen guys who, uh, you know, put tape in and so on and so forth. But I'm going to try something slightly different today. Uh, let me see what we've got going here. <laughs> I've got lost. Uh, what I'm going to do is start off with just a bit of clear resin I'm just going to run a little bead down the edges because I'm going to try and do this with a little tape sticking upon this edge and hopefully be able to close the fuselage up a bit down there just so the glue can adhere a little better now I you I have some actual seaming tape but I don't want to use that because it's uh, pretty heavy duty and I'm trying to build this plane as light as possible and there's nothing wrong with always trying uh, new methods especially on a ship plane like this <laughs> So now I'm going to fill my syringe. I've got a feeling I didn't mix enough stuff up. You don't need gobs of it, but you certainly want to get good, decent coverage. All right, we'll start with that much. I think I'm going to have to probably mix some more up, but we'll see. All right, into the syringe. There we go. We'll see how runny this is. So now what I'm going to do is come down the edges. Just put a bead on both sides. Like I know I can get at this area here with tape. So I'm not going to put this on too heavy. Like I say, I'm trying to keep this plane light. But we'll get heavier towards the back. It's just stiff enough right now, it's sitting on top without running down. But if I turned in on edge, then it would begin to run. And that's where my gravity bit comes in uh, handy. So I'm going to make the same amount again on the other side. Now we'll come down here. Same again. Being very light on the front here because I know I can get inside easy with the brush. 
Like when I'm doing uh, my build, especially a new build, I keep a lab book. I guess that's the engineer in me. And, uh, you know, I have, have procedures for how much of this and that. And it's really helped. And for some reason, I've just not done, I've not even looked up in the lab book to see uh, what my method is for this for building all the other ones. Extra there. Right now, whether this works or not, who the hell knows? So I'm going to try and see if this will work. I don't know if it will or not. I've seen tons of guys use this method, it just doesn't work for me. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just sort of get in position. And then I guess you're supposed to sort of fold it back. I cut off that one. Probably end up hating this. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it is. Uh, no. Put in the comments right now. Is it going to work or not? <laughs> Are we going to have a complete cluster? All right, now I guess I need to uh, bring these in. Some stuff there, but I think I need to bring these in so when I put the other mold on, it doesn't catch. Note to self don't have so much coffee when you're doing building. Okay, I think I've got all those. Old Okay, so I'll see if I can join these two parts now. Good. Yes, start from front, come down gently, bently. Have a quick look down. Oh, huh. Looks like it may have worked. So before I go screwing things up, I mean screwing things. In, I'm just going to put a couple of clamps on to uh, keep them all together while I do the initial tape up. Hopefully, when we look inside, the tape hasn't come off, and no, it doesn't. So, I'm going to now sneak in. If I can, with my, uh, not bad. All right, where's my resin? Sorry, I can't show you this, guys, but no way I can get a camera in there, and I'm, I'm going to attempt to. Just that damn piece there. There we go. Yeah, the tape was just bunching a little bit. And I got it. Yeah, I'll try and get the camera and uh, give you a look inside. And we'll screw it up. You know what I mean. Screw the two halves together. Okay, so. Pre-taping it actually kind of worked. I don't know whether this will show you. Let's get this a bit brighter. Okay. Can you see it? 
a little off to one side, but there's enough on the other side that uh, it'll stick. The, the top piece, this one, is really nice. Uh, the bottom, maybe not as good as it could be, but uh, at least it's kind of worked. So I'm just going to push this bit in with my finger. I use this uh, little lightweight uh, screw gun for my screws. A friend of mine gave it me years ago, probably, I don't know, 15 years ago, and it's still working, believe it or not. But it doesn't have enough power to bust the mold, so I like to use it.